Close your eyes and watch your breath. The mind needs a good place to stay. So give it a home here in the breath. Because if you're thinking about the past, thinking about the future, you're out traveling around, exposed to all kinds of good and bad weather, exposed to all kinds of strange people. It's when you're at home that you're safe. So create a home here. Okay? Breathe in a way that's comfortable, that feels good to stay here. Because the mind needs its strength. With all the news swirling around us, true news, false news, who knows what. There's a lot of uncertainty around us, so you have to find some certainty inside for the mind to have a sense of rest, a sense of confidence. So when it sees what needs to be done, it has the strength to do it. This way, as we take care of our minds, we're also taking care of other people as well. Because the problem often is, even if we do get good information about what's right and wrong, sometimes the mind just does not have the strength to do what's right. There are things that give short-term pleasure but long-term pain, and sometimes it's hard to say no. Or things that give short-term pain but long-term well-being, it's, it, sometimes it's hard to say yes, because you just don't have the strength. So work on the strength right here. Give the mind a place to rest first. Give it some nourishment with a sense of breathing inside that feels really good deep down inside. And then the mind will see things more clearly and have the strength to follow through with what it sees. You'll benefit. The people around you will benefit as well. So take time every day. We brush our teeth every day. We wash our face every day. Look after your mind every day. See it as one of your basic duties. A duty not in a sense of something that's heavy or oppressive, but something you know needs to, leads to your well-being, the well-being of the people around you. So you don't want to abandon it, you don't want to miss a day. And this way your goodness becomes complete. We know there's the goodness of generosity, there's the goodness of virtue, and there's also the goodness of meditation. When the mind gets brought under control, and that actually increases the goodness of your generosity, increases the goodness of your virtue, because you get more particular, more observant. You get stronger inside.